Roger Penrose is one of the world's greatest mathematicians. Together with Stephen Hawking, he won a major international prize for his work on the mathematics of our universe, what we call the area of cosmology. And more recently, he has worked on the question whether we can get new mathematical formulations that explain how our universe may have emerged from the Big Bang that is thought to have happened 13 and a half billion years ago. And what he does is he uses drawing to understand some of his mathematics. Welcome to The Big Draw. I'm Roger Penrose. This is the pattern in front of the Andrew Wiles building, the mathematics building, and it's based on drawings I made which involve two different rhombus shapes and stainless steel strips which match together to produce a pattern which never repeats itself. Well, The Big Draw is an organization which is promoting drawing and encouraging people to draw. I happen to be a scientist myself and a mathematician and I use drawings in perhaps somewhat unusual ways often but it's very important to my thinking as well as in order to try and explain things to other people. These drawings can represent things which are very hard to express in equations. You can certainly write equations for these things but to get a feeling for what's going on to have a picture is very important and I find that to draw these pictures myself can develop my own thinking in ways which I'm sure would not happen in any other way. It's not that you have to be a professional artist, it's meant to be something where you develop skills. I think drawing is a great thing to do. There is something universal about the language of drawing and I think that is very important. It cuts across different cultures, even though cultures may influence the drawings. It is something which is, in a sense, transcendent to cultural differences. I do like to make them quite representational because I may be trying to make a, a picture of something which is in, say, higher dimensions. Draw things in two dimensions, we can model some things in three dimensions, but I work in general relativity, which is a theory which involves space and time together, so you have four dimensions, and often one wants to try to have a picture of what's going on in four dimensions. I'm very much on the uh, side of the geometrical side or the pictorial side and I tend to convert things into pictures. I developed a notation of my own. It would convert very complicated algebraic expressions into relatively simple looking little pictures, particularly in work in relativity theory, general relativity theory, Einstein's theory of space and time and gravity. So it's been very valuable to me in my development as a mathematician. It's important that people shouldn't look down on it. I think that it's often thought, you know, okay, people draw for fun, or that if they're really skilled, then they, they might be drawing professionally. I think that they could be used more in uh, teaching young children. It's harder as a whole to develop, I think, the geometrical skills in a way which follows the kind of highly tested way in which uh, schools uh, are, find themselves forced to develop. I think that that's one of the valuable things about it, that it doesn't seem to necessarily indicate that people have to have great skills at drawing, it's something that they can develop. And if they don't start, they'll ne never develop these skills. Well, it would be very nice if this big draw uh, encourages people who never thought they could draw to draw. Mm -hmm.